All right, so in this video, I would be talking about the internal structure of the urinary bladder. How does it look like when you remove its anterior wall and you're looking at the posterior wall of the bladder? So you can see here the mucosa, the inner lining of the bladder, has been, fold, has been thrown into multiple folds, like they are known as rugae, okay? Just like the folds of the stomach, are also known as rugi. And here is a zone which, uh, on which the mucosa is tightly adherent. And that's why it's, you know, it's uh, smooth. This zone is triangular in shape, so we call it the trigone of the bladder. You remember that the posterior wall is also known as the base of the bladder. So the trigone of bladder is present at the base of the bladder inside the base of the bladder. And it's the region where the mucosa or the inner lining of the, of the bladder is tightly applied over the surface of vasculature. Musculature, okay? The trigone is having a base and an apex. So the base of the trigone on either side, it's this number 40 is representing the orifices of ureters. So the ureteric orifices are present on our either side of the base at the angle of the triangle okay they then the the apex here number 41 is representing the internal ure urethral sphincter oh yeah sorry here okay now uh, as i mentioned that the bladder is a hollow muscular highly expansile organ so its its wall is a very thick you know it's it's been formed by thick layers of muscles which type of muscle smooth muscle okay now have a look at this drawing here it's a cut section through the wall of the bladder so just like any other organ the outer layer of the wall is formed by the adventitia Okay, and the superior surface or the, uh, the superior wall of the bladder, the adventitia is, is including the peritoneum. Okay, while in the lower part, so the inferior lateral surfaces, the adventitia is mainly the connective, coarse, loosely arranged connective tissue. Then we have uh, the portion which is the thickest, it's the muscular, muscularis, or the muscular element of the wall. The muscle of the bladder is named as detrusor muscle. Detrusor means to thrust off or thrust out, okay? And we know that the bladder is a temporary reservoir for urine and it has to thrust it out, okay? So the detrusor muscle is a collection, a huge collection of a smooth muscle involuntary in nature. The muscles, they are arranged in, in this fashion, the outer and inner longitudinal and the middle circular fibers. So why, I'm, I, why they appear like this? Because if the, if the muscles are longitudinally running, so when you, you know, when you section the bladder like this transversely across the wall, what you will be able to see that the, the bundles of muscles will appear like, you know, uh, circles, okay, while the circular muscle will appear like, you know, a whirls. So the, the detrusor muscle has been arranged in a longitude, in inner, outer and inner longitudinal muscle bundles. In the middle are the circular muscle bundles, okay. Then the innermost layer uh, of the wall is the, the mucosal layer. Okay, the mucosa of the, of the urinary bladder is made out of the transitional type of epithelium. It's a unique epithelium in many ways. And that's why uh, it, the other name for this transitional epithelium is urethelium, because it's only present in the urinary tract, starting from the minor calices, like the, the, the beginning of the collecting system back in the kidney down renal pelvis, ureters, urinary bladder, 
and most of the part of the urethra. The, the lining epithelium is transitional type. It's a modified, stratified epithelium. With the cells, you can see over here, these cells, they are like umbrella. They are dome-shaped cells, the top cells, which are facing the urine or they are facing the lumen. They are dome-shaped. What is this? the significant feature or hallmarking feature of this epithelium? First of all, it's transitional. Sorry, it's uh, stratified. Many, we have many type of, of type of stratified, uh, stratified epithelia in our body. What's, this, uh, what's, what's so important about it? The cells of transitional epithelial layers are, you know, they are attached to each other. They are linked to each other through tight junctions. So there is, they don't allow any seepage of urine back into the other layers of the wall. Okay, whether it's bladder or it's ureter or it's renal pelvis or it's urethra, because the underlying tissues either are muscles or they are vessels or the connective tissue, they can get damaged by urine because urine is highly toxic. And when it comes to bladder, it's also infected, okay? It's not sterile anymore. So uh, the, the tight junctions among these cells of transitional epithelium does not, does not allow the seepage of urine. And also these umbrella-shaped, dome-shaped cells, which are sometimes binuclear, like, you know, they have double nuclei, uh, they, uh, they have the ability to expand more. And we need a lot of expansion when it comes to the distension of bladder. 